Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to draw a pretty perfect sign graph. I've had a go at this a few times in different uh, ways in Inkscape, but I think uh, this is probably the most accurate, so uh, let's have a look. First thing is to set up a box the size of the graph that you want. You might want to show a page grid by going View, Page Grid, and you can set up that in Document Settings. It's this icon up here. Click on that and select grids. You can then select the grid spacing and so on. I'll cancel out of that. Um, if I select a rectangle, ensure that Snap to Grid is set on up there. And it's a good idea to do this because then you can produce multiples of graphs that are an exact size to fit in different places and so forth. But uh, you don't need the grid, but um, it's something I sometimes do. I'll now go to I'll use the select tool just to highlight that box, yep. Now I'm going to go to Extensions, Render, Function Plotter. And you can see the window that's come up, I've already uh, practiced and done this and I've changed the settings to go from 0 to 1. You might be a bit surprised at saying 1 for a sign graph, but when you tick this tick, the, this box here, multiply x range by 2 pi, that of course makes 1 times 2 pi, so you get the standard uh, range for the sign graph. I'm just going from minus 1 to 1, because I've just typed in sin x here. Clip with rectangle. Uh, look, I'm not sure whether you really need that. I'll leave it on for now. I'll leave draw axes on for now as well, because we can remove them later. If I click the live preview, it takes a while because I've got a thousand points. I should have mentioned that before. I wanted to be over accurate, and a thousand points produces, as you can see, a pretty smooth sign graph. I go apply and close. Now I'm just going to click on the box to remove it, show you how to do that, just click and delete. However, if you try the same thing with the axes, click and delete, you lose the lot. So Control Z to undo, select, which is actually a, um, a combination of axes and graph, those paths combined. I go to path, break apart, and now if I click on the axes, I can delete that if I want to. You could also leave them there and put arrows on them, but I'll leave them removed for the moment just so I can concentrate on the sine curve. Now that's an excellent shape sine curve. I'll just go to the fill and stroke menu over here, Control shift f to bring that up if you haven't got it. And under stroke style, change the width to about a millimetre as uh, a nice width. And shift click a colour that you want, say red, and there's your nice sine graph. Well, I thought it was a nice sign graph, but uh, you can see that point the start. Oh no, that's just a. Might have just been a glitch in uh, my PC rendering the sign graph there. But uh, there's something else I have omitted to do. If I click on this graph and then N for the node tool, you can see it's made up of thousands of nodes. That could become memory intensive, and it could also be the reason I've got a few uh, width issues at the start there. So with that selected, I'm going to go Path and Simplify. And that seems to have fixed up a lot of the problems. I'll do it once more, Path, Simplify. And I'm not going to do it anymore because uh, in practice that actually started to put some kinks in the sign graph. If I now click the Select tool, that's a, an excellent sign graph. You can see I can stretch this. Oops, click on it. Stretch it that way. It looks like it's distorting, but it uh, springs back into the right thickness uh, stroke. And stretch it that way. See, it looks distorted in the middle, but uh, once I let go, it equalises. Control Z to get back to that. Of course, you can uh, Control C, or actually Control D to duplicate in place, then Control Drag to constrain it to horizontal. You can produce extra periods of the graph and so forth. As I said before, you can highlight the lot and shrink it up to show more periods. Again, Control D to duplicate that. Control drag across and you can get some pretty ac accurate uh, sign graphs. That completes this tutorial and once again, thanks for watching.